What is going on guys? My name is Deli. Welcome back to a brand new Madden 22 gameplay video. In today's gameplay video, we're going to do a little bit different style. I'm going to talk over some of the clips I'm going to be doing because I'm going to give you guys my full-on review of this card, Daniel Jones. Is it a good card? Is it a bad card? So I tried this card over this past weekend on Weekend League. When I mean this past weekend, I tried it on sun Sunday. I played about, was it 10 games? Eight games, and I was really just trying out this card. As you guys can see, I had ran Bazooka on him, which every quarterback runs Bazooka because you throw bombs all fucking day. Inside that in, I can't speak, but inside Dead Eye and Set Feet Lean. The reason why you weren't on Inside Dead Eye is pretty simple. It's the best fucking passing ability in the game. It's stupid broken. It doesn't matter where the fuck you're throwing the football. It is going to be perfectly accurate. And then we got Set Feet Lead, which is basically Gunslinger for a budget since you can't get gunslinger quite yet because I don't I don't think there is any quarterback that can get gunslinger yet I'm pretty sure you need like what 90 throw power right was it, I think you need a 90 throw power to get gunslinger but yeah yeah but that's another topic but so hopefully we'll get into the gameplay and I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of everything what I thought of this card so first off pretty simple this is gonna be just one little clip of I had in solo battles I really thought this was a crazy ass throw right here look at that throw he was on his back which is an amazing throw that is just the only throw I had from solo battles and so I was trying out this card out, so most of the time you're going to be seeing me throwing bombs because that's literally my offense. I throw a lot of bombs, I test out the opponent, I throw on the run a lot. And that's one the thing about this card. This card is very, very, very good at throwing the runs. You guys can see right here, I'm going to be throwing on the run and I'm going to be very, very accurate. It's because the instant that I boost and the fact this card is very fast with 85 speed, it's very easy to get, take advantage of this card. So I take the snap, I should throw a bomb deep, and but every once in a while when I throw the ball deep, for some reason, Dane Jones would just straight up just miss the guy. I don't know if it's because George Kittle or something, they would just straight up miss him. But the majority of the time you see me just do like a crazy ass run play, Dane Jones has the ability, since he has so much speed on his card, 85 speed, so you can just go run, you're running, you're running, you're running. I probably could have juked that guy out, but I'd rather just go to the sidelines, because this man was crazy tired. So it's first and 10 here, another big play, easy touchdown play, just throwing bombs, testing my opponents because I don't really test, I don't really trust my opponent's secondary, I step off in the pocket a little bit, throw a little bomb right here, easy. The one thing about this card, I've been, like I said, his speed is the biggest factor, you could just throw on this card, it's like Justin Fields, but with better accuracy. That's pretty much the way he explained it. This is Daniel, Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes can throw dimes on a dot, like right here, he throws a bullet. A bullet and a bomb to easy touchdown to Devin Hester. I don't know why you want to try to press Devin Hester. And you know your corner's not that fast. So it's easy points. Another play here. You know your corners are not fast. You got to run throw on the run. I throw a bomb. And this is the one throw that was very, cons very thought that was going to be a pick. But apparently Daniel Jones doesn't throw picks. He just throws dots on dots. And I highly recommended this card. So what I was talking about this card in the beginning is that. The throw motion. The throw motion is one of the biggest factors of this card as you compare to Aaron Rodgers who has the fastest throw motion in the game. He throws sort of throws a little bit slower than him. If I had to take it, it's probably like a, a millisecond slower than him, but you're probably not going to really notice. After you start playing with this card a lot, you're going to not notice it, the throw accuracy. But if you have never been using Aaron Rodgers, then you're probably not going to notice. You're not going to notice nothing really. But most of the time. And... That's what I mentioned for the throw motion. The throw short, I don't really have to throw, mention throw short since throw short. It's pretty easy. A lot of quarterbacks can throw easy throw shorts, except for most quarterbacks. For some reason, they'll sometimes miss these throw shorts because they don't have the base tier. But that's something in throw, throw short. And throw medium is the same thing. Pretty easy. But this card shines the most is on throw on the run. He could throw dots on dots on dots. Guys, I would recommend getting this card. It's very cheap, guys. All you guys do is you get your use your power up pass, buy his power up. It costs you about roughly like 30, 20, 30, 40k. It's not too much coins, and you guys can get this beast of a card. As you guys can see clear, I highly recommend it. And shout out to the dogs who like five dogs working at each other. Doesn't shut the fuck up. But I'm recording a video. Don't really care. So. That's my review on Daniel Jones. What do I think of this card? This card is an absolute beast card. Is there any other quarterbacks you guys want me to try out for some gameplay? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll do any quarterback you guys really want me to try out. I'll do a gameplay on him and we'll upload it. But hope you guys do enjoy the video. Make sure to hit the like button if you haven't. And make sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. We're working our way to grow to 400 subscribers. And always check me out on Twitter if you want. And I'll see you guys in the next gameplay. Peace.